Hey, you viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Stratist, and welcome to another indie horror game. This is Desolation Prologue. Now, this one um, has Lovecraftian themes. Apparently, it's kind of like a point and click sort of. Oh, hello. Okay, that's not what I was expecting. I thought I'd just mouse down and click that. Turns out I'm actually uh, <laughs> suspended in a void full of strange imagery. Okie doke. I get the feeling this is probably meant to be played with VR, but I don't have VR, so not going to happen. Alright. Oh, God. Okay, yeah. I mean, it says on the, I'm pretty sure it said on the page, yeah, you can play this in VR, or you can just play it as is. I'm just playing it as it is. So, like I say, it's Lovecraftian, it's point and click, um, it's not supposed to be too long. I don't know, some of the reviews say maybe 30 minutes, there or thereabouts, to try and complete the whole thing, so let's just throw ourselves in. I'm kind of curious to see what it's like, and judging by the fact that it's a prologue, I'm guessing it's kind of a teaser the to a much. The began when human beings neglected their true gods and forgot about their existence. Blinded by the false promise of paradise, they ceased to be fearful of the wrath of the great old ones. Okay. The chaos started to reign over the world. At that moment, the god who had been the beginning and end of all things, and whose name was synonym of terror, began to prepare his return. To fulfill <laughs> his purpose, he would need the assistance of someone who had stared directly at the abyss. Someone with a similar thirst for revenge. Someone aware of the fake nature of the god they had put their faith in. Damn! Well, that's off to quite a start, isn't it? Oh boy. Wow. What a, what a freaking star. That's... I don't know, with these indie horrors, you never sort of know. Kind of, ooh. Where am I? Whoa. I was wandering around the desert after they... After they took my baby from me. My little boy. Damn. And there was a light. Am I dreaming? Is that all you have to say? I was going to say, like, look at this sort of... Surrounding. Look at this landscape. Oh shit. So we can go that way. Or that way? Hang on. Are there subtitles in this game? Language. Uh, no, we want English, um, obviously. Well, hmm. Oh, there's a middle mouse for menu and inventory. Let's see. Oh, right, that middle mouse does that. Okay, and that's my inventory. Yeah, you can definitely see that this was made for VR, can't you? Okay, because like, this landscape almost looks like maybe they've taken a photograph, a panoramic photograph, and just sort of made it a 360 sort of view. If that, if that makes it, obviously, a panorama, it's 360. <laughs> Ulthar! Oh, God, it's like the cats of Ulthar all of a sudden. That's not a good sign. Ulthar? All right. That doesn't sound... There seems to be a village over there. Sorry, did maybe I just... Maybe I can find help. Did I just cut out some of their dialogue? Ulthar? That doesn't sound familiar. What is this place? Okay, maybe it's different then. So go towards the village? I should have taken the time then to actually examine my surroundings in more detail, shouldn't I? Oh boy. Okay, hang on, can we go back? Hold on, let's just let's just go back for a moment. So Ulthar, if anyone doesn't know, was a setting in the Cats of Ulthar, which was, um, I think, part of Lovecraft's sort of dream cycle the dream cycle aspect of the Lovecraft mythos. And basically, it's a story about how an evil, uh, well, horrible sort of old couple in a house in a strange town called Ulthar, they kill a cat, and as a result, the cats come and kill them. <laughs> basically. Lovecraft had a love of cats and all that. Duh. What was that sound? Is, is anybody there? Yeah, what? Stop. Newspaper. December 25th, 2020. Casey Jones, the legendary NBA point guard, with every possible title, dead at 88. The Celtics idol won eight championships as a player, another two as a coach, two as an assistant, two in the NCAA, and an Olympic gold. Okay. It's a random one. So is this set modern day, then? Because it said 2020. Which is curious, um... Because the cutscene was more like in the past, and I thought we were playing as that woman at the very end. But... That music is quite scary. 
Okay, well, let's not listen to it then. Okay, so it's definitely a game where we're going to have to take our time and just really examine our surroundings, I think. Uh, we can go over that way. That thing we can look at, though. Rue de Zayel Street. Rue de Zayel Street. Okay. Well, let's go further into Ulthar, I guess. <laughs> Who knew that Ulthar existed in the year 2020? <laughs> oh. Now, you see... Oh, yeah, this definitely... This definitely looks like what they've done is they've gone to some location in real life and, like, photographed it. Taken panoramic photographs and then they've just tweaked the graphics a bit and turned it into a setting. I hear a cat. That's not a good sign. Treat the cats well in Ulthar, otherwise they will kill you. The Hall of the Great Gods? How many gods do they worship here? <laughs> a lot, clearly. It's closed. I don't think I can open it. Well, do you reckon we'll go in there at some point? I imagine so. Did this thing... Yeah, that did. Kadath Central Square. The Unknown City. Home of the Great Ones. Protected by the giant guardians of stone. Birthplace of all wisdom and temporary residence of oh. Nyar La Thotep. Oh, well, that's not I a good sign. I don't remember where I've seen the name Kadath before. Kadath. I think that, that one's familiar. I'm pretty sure that is a Lovecraft location, isn't it? In the Dream Cycle? I think it is. But they also mentioned Nihal Lafferty. Stop. It seems the noise is getting closer. I need to find a safe place. Okay, we're gonna go over there then. Into the building, I assume. Can you die in this game? Oh god. Uh. Okay. There's an alleyway. Wait, is that where I came from? Or is that somewhere else? Because there's stuff out there to look at. Hold on. Oh god, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so there's a path down there. There's a path down there. Oh god, there's multiple routes to go here. Um, okay, well, we'll just stick with this one for the moment. Alright, so... Huh. Yeah, that's definitely where we came from. Huh. A ladder. Huh. A ladder. A ladder. A ladder. God, it's ominous. It's definitely got atmosphere, this. I like it. It's really different, I think, to any other Lovecrafting game I've ever played. Okay, so there's definitely nothing uh, about that way. There aren't any other alleyways we can go down here. Anything? Oh, wait a minute. Something there. Note. Remember, when a ghoul enters a state of extreme hunger, it will begin to lose its mind. When you see this, it is better not to run. Just try to leave the scene without making any noise. Is that a hint? Are you telling me that I'm going to find ghouls and that I just have to leave without making too much noise? Alright, let's go over there. It's the only way we can go. Down the side of this temple or whatever it is. Oh no, wait, this brings us out back here. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Then there is another path we can go. Hold on. So I thought we'd come from this direction, but apparently not. Well, let's go over there, then. How strange. It's very eerie. Okay, yeah, this is definitely new. There's a cart. So this has definitely got to be a uh, town somewhere in Italy or somewhere, right? It's got that very alpine-looking vibe to it. Ooh. This door is locked. There may be another way to get in. There seems to be people in that house. Yeah. Maybe they can help me. There's a light. Um, there's going to be another way into the house. That's what we're saying. Can we go over there? No. Don't have anything in my inventory just yet. There's something to look at. That must be the way I came, right? Bar Alman Almanzor. Does this just take me back to where I was? Yes, it does. Okay, never mind. Back this way, then. Sorry, I'm twizzling the camera around quite fast. What a strange game. Unlike anything I've ever played before. I do love the art style, though. Oh. The wall is too high. If I have something to climb it. Ladder. Go back and get the ladder. That's what it wants us to do. Okay, it's a bit going to be a bit puzzle solvy as well, is it? Okay, I'm into it. I'm into it. I like it. I think it's uh, taking an interesting turn here, isn't it? Now, where's that ladder? It's there. Aha! This could be useful to get in the house before that thing gets me. Okay, well, let's uh, do that, I guess. 
Oh, I don't like the monster noises. <laughs> I can hear them in the background, and it's oh, oh, freaky. All right, down the street. Hmm. Are we dead? Is that what? What? Sorry. What? what? Okay. The you know what? The wall is too high. If I had something to climb it. Yes. Uh. No. Do this. Wait. How do I? Okay. Oh, like that. There we go. I did it. Now I'll be able to go over the wall. <laughs> go over the wall. Go over the fucking wall. Why the white? I couldn't click the ladder. Oh no. Okay, that was meant to happen. Going to that achievement. Oh Jesus. Oh, oh God. God. That horrible beast almost killed me. I don't. I don't know how I managed to escape. Well, with a ladder. <laughs> uh, Make yourself comfortable. It is not wise to be walking alone in the dark streets at this ungodly hour. Is that you talking? Because that sound sounded like it was coming more from there than over there, but okay. This door is locked. Yeah, there's no subtitles, ladies and gents. Oh. Who are these people? <laughs> are these the devs? That's got to be the devs, right? <laughs> Damn, there's some uh, crazy faces, ladies and gentlemen. Well, good to know. Who are these people, indeed? <laughs> it's probably not a good idea to touch a stranger's things. Well, are you sure? It's a point-and-click game that you're in, la uh, lady. Old book, Ritual. I understand this language. Well, I can. It's called English. Ritual. The body must have been dead for more than 12 hours, but less than 36. When it rises again after the ritual, wounds will not heal. So if the body is expected to walk, the legs must be intact. That's not a good sign. I feel like maybe... Okay, I just momentarily activated Weird. the radio. This door wasn't locked before. Wasn't it? How would you know that? Oh I don't god. Like this painting. Yeah, it's by Pickman. That's another Lovecraft story. Pickman's model about the painter who paints horrible pictures. Yeah, best not to uh, address that. Best not to go anywhere near it, in fact. I do love the decor of this room though. Leather bound book. And he's not the only one. Necronomicon. What kind of book is this? The cover seems to be made of human skin? <sighs> Really? You know that? And he's not the only one. There are many more in this world than others. Nihilathotep, the crawling chaos, the one with a thousand faces, messenger of Azathoth. Oh boy, <clears throat> I don't think we've escaped anything here, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, talk to this old woman. Uh, oh, I'm called Samara? The old woman. Who are you? What's going on here? Where am I? What was that thing following me? Who are you? Who are you? My name is not relevant. It was lost in the tides of time. The important thing here is who you are. Although, I must admit, I thought you would be... Well, I thought you'd be a man. His decisions are always a mystery. Okay, that feels like it doesn't really tell me all that much. What's going on? What is going on here? You are about to receive the greatest gift of all. He has chosen you among everyone that ever was or will be. I know your heart is full of doubts, but soon they will be solved. He will take away the pain of losing your child. Okay, okay. Uh, who is that him? That's another one. Where am I? Where am I? This is your future, but also your past and your present. This isn't really a place, this is a concept. One that is within you, and at the same time, within him. Okay, so it's... are we in the dream cycle, basically? What was that thing following me? What was that thing following me? That thing was a ghoul. When they're hungry, they become violent. But don't worry, soon all of his kind will follow your orders. Hmm. That's a strange thing to say. Who's that him you're talking about? And who is that him you are talking about? He is everything. He is light and darkness. He is life and death. He is the beginning and the end. 
He is older than this earth we walk on. Than this earth, not he that this earth. through the cracks of time, and he is waiting for you. Who are we talking about? Cthulhu? Nihilatotep? Me? What for? Me? What for? You will become his voice on Earth. The time has come for his return, and you will be his vessel. Before everything can be anew, first what is must be destroyed. Do not worry, my child. You will be rewarded for your efforts. Once your task is complete, you can ask for any boon, even to hold your child again. Cthulhu! I mean, he showed a picture of Cthulhu earlier, so it's got to be him, right? And what do I have to do to get to him? Getting to him will not be easy, but as long as the green star shines in the dark sky, it's the Cthulhu. door to Valei will be open. You will need the silver key that is in that old chest. Silver now, key? It is time you meet your true god, and remember, that is not oh death, God. which can eternal lie. Abdullah and has read. strange aeons, even death may die. Okay, there's a lot of references. Of course there are. A human locked the last talk. Okay, so she said a chest. Um, oh, this, maybe. Okay, we got the silver key. It must be here. A quite big silver key. It has symbols engraved all over its surface. There's again a reference to another Lovecraft game. Weird. This door wasn't locked before. It sounds like there's cats in there. Which is not a good sign. This door is locked. Okay, it wants me to do something. Um, silver key. Symbols engraved all over its surface. Okay. There's got to be something that we need to do then. Do we need to unlock this? Ah. Oh god. Well, that was a weird effect. Achievement unlock the silver key. There's, an us there's also a reference. Oh. Oh, we're outdoors again. Oh, God. This is not the same village. I must get to Relay, so I can recover my son. Sure. This door won't open. There may be another way in. Okay. Okay, whatever you say. Can I look at any of these graves? Sutter Kane, your books took you to the top, and then became your downfall. You will forever live in these pages and beyond. Weird. Jack Torrance, husband and father. Torrance? Overlook will always remember you. No! <laughs> okay, that's a shining reference right there. Jack Torrance. Carol Ann Freeling. Always cheerful. Always playing. You can finally go into the light. Me thinks there's probably a lot of other references then in this game. Abdul al Hazred. That... The mm. mad sorcerer. Sounds terrifying. Abdullah has read it was the mad Arab in um, Lovecraft stories, the writer of the Necronomicon. That's who he was. Okay. Right, well, I guess we're going over there, into the midst of graves, or just further down the path. Is that what we're doing here? Okay, right, we've gone amidst the graves. Susie Banyan. Dancing is the hidden language of the soul. Hmm. Are these all references to real people or characters in other media? Jackson Elias, writer, adventurer, friend. Your life was an adventure. May it still be wherever you are. <laughs> it's weirdly, weirdly grim, this, isn't it? <laughs> Ellen Ripley. Ripley? You everything. You will always be inside of each of us. For God's sake! Right, we're getting movie references now as Alien. <laughs> okay, how many others are there? Pamela Voorhees. Loving Voorhees. An exemplary neighbor. Oh, right, well, I know that one. That's another one I'm familiar with. Pamela Voorhees. <laughs> Paul Nasty. I never rest on full moon nights. Okay, is that all the graves we can look at in this area? It looks like it. All right, back onto the path, I guess. I'm liking this game. It's kind of weird. Definitely got that real old school point and click vibe. And I just love the fact that they've clearly, I don't know, it feels like they've definitely taken photographs of an actual real life location and just sort of touched them up, probably in like Photoshop or something, and then done like a panoramic view for this game. It actually works really well, I think. 
It has a lot of atmosphere to it. At least it feels that way to me, anyway. Saw your family. Oh, is that all you're going to say about that one? Marsh family. Marsh? Oh, wait, Marsh. The Marshes of Innsmouth. Yeah, that's another Lovecraft one right there. Everybody's here. Okay, can we go further down, or...? Hang on. I don't have the silver key anymore, do I? I can't go further over there, apparently. Is there something else around that I can look at? Over there, maybe, or... Can I go amidst these graves anywhere? Oh. And with strange aeons, even death may die. That's it. It is the second part of the phrase the old woman said. Now, it's a Lovecraft one. Okay. What's uh, that pole that's kind of in the centre, though, of this pathway? Oh, right, we're over here again. Oh, never mind. There's nothing there. Is there a way around this? Can we go through that door? No. Apparently not. There's going to be something we can do here. Um, Abdul al Hazred, the mad sorcerer. Sorry, I'm terrifying. really just twizzling the camera around, aren't I? Oh, look at this thing. That is a strange symbol. I wonder what it means. It's kind of like a red crook. Oh. Is there a reason that's pulsing? Uh. This door won't open. There may be another way in. Hmm. Another way in. There's going to be a door or something. So, okay, well, let's make a note of that symbol there. So, the red crook. Maybe we're going to see that somewhere and it's going to mark something that we can look at. Sutter Kane, your books took you to the top and then became your downfall. You will forever live in these pages and beyond. So why can we walk over to this section of the graveyard? Is that just to see various references? Or is there more of a purpose here? Something that I'm supposed to look for. So curious about that symbol over the door of the church or whatever it is, though. That means something. Ellen Ripley, we owe you everything. <laughs> you will always be inside of each of us. You know, it's interesting, though, um, that they have an Ellen Ripley reference, because I've always sometimes thought that, you know, the sort of... the monsters of the H.P. Lovecraft mythos, if you combined them with that sort of H.R. Geiger-esque art style, they'd probably look fucking terrifying, even, you know... If you haven't ever seen, uh, you know, some H.R. Geiger art, go and check it out. Some of it is uh, pretty weird. H.R. Geiger, for anyone who doesn't know, was the artist um, whose designs very much inspired the Xenomorph in the Alien movies. Um, Marsh family. I'm just looking around. Is there anything we can interact with here, or... I don't really see anything. Um, I suppose it's one of those ones where you just got to take it slow. Something carefully. Oh, wait a minute. There's the symbol. I saw that same symbol at the entrance of the temple. There it is. I saw that same symbol at the entrance of the temple. And with strange aeons, even death may die. It is the second part of the phrase the old woman said. Hmm. Do we have to find the first part? Is that it? And with strange aeons, even death may die. I can't remember what the first part of it was. It was like... Jupiter family. Oh. Okay, Achievement Unlocked Gravedigger. I missed that one before. Alright, so there must be maybe another thing somewhere that I'm supposed to find. A grave that we can look at, maybe. Especially one that's perhaps sunken into the ground like uh, that one is there. Just one with a symbol on it, probably. Um, if I go back into the middle over here, maybe there's something over this area that I'm meant to look at. Susie Banyan. Dancing is the hidden language of the soul. This is going to be on a grave that we've already looked at, hasn't it? Hold on. Find it. Paul Nasty. I never rest on full moon nights. Jackson Elias. Writer. Adventurer. Friend. Your Pamela Voorhees. No. Loving mother and exemplary neighbour. That's Ellen Ripley over there, that one. Um... Hmm. So since I've... Unless I just... By finding that symbol, now now something's changed, maybe? That is a strange symbol. Hmm. It's definitely this not opening. Open. There may be another way in. Sutter Kane. Your book, Jack Torrance. 
hugged Carol Ann Freeling. Always cheerful, always playing. You can mm. finally mm. go into the light. I wonder who this voice actress is. Abdul Al Hazred, the mad sorcerer. Sounds terrifying. Huh, okay. What am I meant to do here? I feel like I found the symbol, but what does that mean? What does that mean for me? Because I don't have any items in my inv- Oh god, can I turn that off please? There we go, good lord. Alright, hang on, let's just go back again. Because it's got to be something that I'm missing. I saw that same symbol at the entrance of the temple. And with strange aeons, even death may die. It is, is the second part of the phrase the old woman said. Yeah. That which is not dead... Is it like something that which is not dead can never truly die? I'm like suddenly trying to remember it now, even though they just said it a moment ago. And I now can't remember. <laughs> um, hmm. There's a puzzle here, and I need to figure out what it is. I feel like I've got to find the first part of the... Uh, the um, White family. Hmm. I feel like I've got to find the first part of the uh, of the verse. That which is not dead can never truly die. Something like that, or whatever it is. And with strange eons, even death may die. Jupiter family. No, I'm seeing a lot of graves that I've already clicked on, but it's got to be around somewhere, right? I feel like that's what it wants me to do, but I'm not. 100% sure. Susie Banyan. Dancing is the hidden language of the soul. Oh, wait a minute. Where's well, pick up this there? This must be the head of a mallet. Head of a mallet? A fairly heavy rectangular piece of metal with a hole running through it. Oh, okay. Wow, I didn't even see that, but shit, I need to stop doing that. Alright, so we need to find the handle of a mallet. Maybe what it's telling us, we need to get the mallet, or the hammer, smash open that grave. Is that what it's telling me? Right, so hang on. It's got to be something around that I can pick up. Okay, so that's good to know that there's tiny little objects in the environment that can be interacted with. Okay, what I should do is not keep moving the camera. I should keep the camera focused like this on one area for a moment and just scan it over very carefully to see if there's anything that looks like maybe it can be interacted with. I don't see anything over there. Um, hmm. Does anybody see anything that looks kind of like the handle of a hammer? Something that can be interacted with? Nothing there? Or there? No? Hmm. Fairly heavy rectangular piece of metal with a hole running through it from one side. Oh. oh that doesn't work here. Oh, maybe I can just hang on. Do I need to find a handle for it? Or can I just hold the thing and just whack the stone with it, maybe? Is that what it wants me to do? That is a strange symbol. I wonder what it means. I cannot use that here. Hmm. Never mind. So maybe we do need to find a handle for it. So I'm just scanning the image. There's got to be something that I can pick up. Marsh family. Marsh family. Sawyer family. Oh, wait a minute. Is that it? Aha! This piece of wood seems yes. like a handle. Yes. Can I combine? I can. A human locked handyman. A mallet with an iron head, wooden handle, quite heavy and a bit worn out. Can I smash it now? Yes, I can. God damn it, it was right there. Okay. We're going to another stage of the dream cycle, are we? Oh, God. Oh no. Did we just find the entrance to right there? Okay. God, I wonder how much else there is potentially to find in this game. Alright, wants us to in look at that. Question not, and hear oh. my words. I am the great old one. I am the cosmic horror. The contradiction to all the That animation though. <laughs> Soon the skies will turn to fire, 
The seas will rise to welcome their creator. And at the dawn of that day, only the chosen ones will walk the new world. Here is your art, my child. I've dreamed of you for eons. Only someone who has known the greatest of horrors will be able to open the threshold to that world for me. To fulfill this task, you will have to sacrifice another part of yourself. But do not fear, my daughter. When this is over, you will be able to have anything your heart desires. Know that you have part of my power and immortality. <laughs> Go and prepare my return, which now takes place in front of my eyes, but you will carry out in thousands of years from now, when the planets will align again. Believe in me, and all the answers will be revealed to you in due time, for I live in you, awake. Sorry, I'm just letting him talk. Okay. So, over the course of thousands of years, we're bringing Cthulhu back. Oh, okay. No. Oh. From now on, you will be known as EDR. Sorry, what? I'll be known as what? <laughs> Can I just use my original name? Oh. Okay, that was that. Thanks for playing, we hope you enjoyed this little piece of cosmic horror. You'll be able to discover the full story soon. If you liked it, don't hesitate to add desolation to your wish list. You know what? I kind of did enjoy that. I thought it was an interesting, um... I thought it was quite an interesting little game, that. You know what? I think I might actually put this into its own playlist. Oh god, right, that faded out. Never mind, but it's probably just going back to the main menu. Yeah, I think, um... I'll probably put this into its own playlist, in case I actually do decide to uh, play the full game when it gets released. That was certainly an interesting, quite unique take on a Lovecraft game, and I did like the fact that it had a very unique art style to it. I, like I say, I guess what it what it basically was, they uh, the devs probably took like panoramic shots of actual real-life locations and just touched them up in Photoshop to make them more atmospheric and weirder. Strange. I mean, I appreciate, obviously, all the Lovecraft references that were actually going on in that game. So, I hope you enjoyed that, ladies and gentlemen, because I certainly did. Oh, wow. Um, so, yeah, I probably will actually wishlist um, the full version of the game. Oh, look. There's um, lots of references going on here to uh, various Lovecraft stories and things, and elements of Lovecraft stories. These are all Kickstarters, apparently. Well... Fantastic stuff. I'm just curious if there's anything uh, at the end of the credits here, but I, I mean, I don't think there will be, but we'll just keep it um, rolling for the moment anyway. Investigator Thomas F. Malone. Evil twin. <laughs> Wilbur Waitley. <laughs> That's uh, the Dunwich horror, isn't it? Wilbur Waitley. Eric Zahn. Wow. Of course. The music of Eric Zahn. I know my Lovecraft stories. Okay. So what's... Um yeah, like I said, these must all be just Kickstarter backers. Cultist, Silas N. Hmm. Now, you see, since we've had Wilbur Waitley and Eric Zan, was Silas N. a Lovecraft character? I don't recall that one. No, I don't think it was. I, at least not, not to the best of my memory. Unless it was by one of the other writers who later came down and uh, added more to the Cthulhu mythos. August Durleth or whoever, I don't know. God, God, that's a lot of friggin' uh, Kickstarter backers, isn't it, by the looks of it? M00. Michael Peelman. Let's see if we can see any funny names here. Purple. RBC McKenzie. Sean Harmon. Scorpia. Sky5349. Solaris. Stacey Bora. Victor Alvarez Lira. Victor Cerezo, Victor Chang, Victor Gonzalez, Victor Parolo, Victoria Suarez, Victoria Wilbanks. How many Victors and Victorias can we have? Indiegogo. Right, a load of people here. King of Zombies. <laughs> I sometimes enjoy actually just looking at weird names that people give themselves. 
Rick Halo 13, well not weird, but every so often when you look at um, lists of Kickstarter backers in credits and things like that, there's always that one person somewhere hidden in there who has a really weird name. <laughs> Something like that, who knows. Alright, well, um, oh, I guess we're going back to the main menu by the looks of it. Okay. Well, uh, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was Desolation Prologue. I enjoyed that. I thought it was quite interesting. So, um, yeah. I'd definitely be interested in actually uh, playing the full version. So I think, like I say, I will wishlist it. And who knows, maybe you'll see the full version at one point on my channel. Like I say, I'll put this in a playlist of its own. Because if I do play the full version, obviously, then I won't keep this in, in the indie horror playlist. It'll have to go into its own you know, into his own playlist, essentially. That's what I'm trying to say. So, Facebook and Twitter links down below, along with the links to my propagandist channel for anyone interested. And if you enjoyed, a like is always appreciated. But other than that, this is General Red signing off. Cthulhu for Tong, ladies and gentlemen. Shiver me timbers! No! Shit! No! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Okay, he's not actually doing any damage to me. Because I think he's uh, too slow to actually kill me. I think I keep, like, stun locking him in place when I hit him with my knife. Right. Spiegel, I'm not really finding too much use. Oh, hello. Get out of here. Shit. Oh god, there's a few of them in here, isn't there? Shiver me timbers. No. Nope. Fuck you. I'm gonna stun lock you. Yeah, he kind of has like an animation that he plays. Whenever I hit him. Okay, so we're having to deal with the evil fish men, ladies and gentlemen. What was that little one I saw? What the fuck is that thing? Ooh, shit. Okay, you want to be careful with that now, don't you? Hmm? Oh shit, no. Nope.